The Wix JavaScript SDK allows you access to Wix business solutions and site data from your JavaScript code. You can use the SDK to add custom functionality to a Wix site, uh, create an interactive UI, work with data-driven content, and integrate third-party API services. In this video, you will learn about the Wix SDK, including how to access packages, version control, documentation structure, and some tips and tricks for efficient development. A few terms to familiarize yourself with while working with the SDK. SDK stands for Software Development Kit. It's a collection of tools that developers need to be able to create applications for a specific platform. To access the Wix SDK, we publish these tools to NPM packages, which can then be installed and imported for use in your code. Now let's take a look at the documentation and select an SDK to use. In the documentation, you see all the backend and frontend modules on the left-hand side. Expanding each will show you the methods available. If you are having trouble finding an API you are looking for, at the bottom right, there is a docs AI search that can provide code snippets and relevant links. Once you find the API you want to use, copy the code snippet and open your code editor. Now paste the code snippet here and let's make a few modifications. Notice that you have an error on your import. Hovering over this error will show that the NPM package needs to be installed to use this API. Click Install to start the process. Now click View in Package Manager to see all your installed packages. You can also navigate to Packages and Apps, NPM. Then click on the plus sign. When you install an NPM package, it will be at a specific version. We use semantic versioning, which you can read more about in the link in the video description, but let's look at what this means from a practical standpoint. First, filter the packages by installed. The package we just installed is at this version here. When this API receives new features, Wix will push an update to this version. If you need the new feature, next time you are working on this site, you will want to update the version of your package. You do not need to update a package unless there are new features you want to use that are not on your version. The code we added is stable and production ready regardless of how many new features Wix rolls out or what the new version number is. When you are ready to update, you can click the button to update to the latest version of the SDK which would give you access to any new features. Another action you can take here is to switch to an older version of a package. While the need to roll back a version should be very rare, if you do notice a bug or issue in an API after you've made an update to your package, you have control over the version of the code you are using and you can do a few things. You can report the bug and I'll leave a link in the description for how to start that flow. And then you can switch back your package to an older version that wasn't causing any issues for you. Once an update is rolled out and a fix for whatever you're seeing, you can update to the newest version of that package. At times, we may have a large update to an API that changes something critical about how it is used. When this happens, it's called a major update. Major updates that would include breaking changes will not be rolled out to existing API packages. So you can be confident that the code you are using now will always work. Once you have installed all necessary dependencies for your code, click Run to preview your work before you go live. Wix SDK offers you a unified and seamless way to develop anything on Wix, from your websites to your apps and your headless applications. Check the links in the description to get started today, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos so that you'll get updated when we release new content.